No more than usual. Do I look like a hoop? Hey, Scotty, did you see what your toy gorilla just did to? Scotty. Yeah, Dad. What are you doing? Why aren't you playing? I just don't feel like it. What are you reading? That's more fun than basketball. You a sister, Mike. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi. Hello. Mike, I'm worried about Scott. Yeah, why is he reading a history book instead of playing basketball? He's been sitting there like that ever since he got home from practice. He seems very depressed about something. I think you better talk to him. How's my pal? You feel all right? Yep. You want to talk about anything? No. Nope. Like talking to Gary Cooper. <laughs> what is it, Scott? What's the trouble? Well, ever since Coach Pitts got Claude Mingo, he gets to play all the time. And one of us has to sit on the bench. It wasn't like that when there were only five of us. Well, the coach is probably acting for the good of the team. But Jimmy Turner hardly ever gets to play. He won't get to play at all in the tournament. That's why I walked out on practice. You walked out on practice? Scotty, don't you think that's going too far? I mean, I want this Jimmy Turner to play as much as anybody. But you've got to learn to respect the coach's decisions. Sitting on the bench? If that's what the coach wants, yeah. Besides, why don't you and this Jimmy Turner practice real hard and maybe you can get better than this Mingo kid? He's no kid. He's 20 feet tall. <laughs> I don't care if he carries an axe and he rides a blue ox. Scotty, you walked out on the team. Now, what do you think you should do about it? Well, I suppose I ought to go apologize to Coach Pitts. I think that would be the best thing. Anybody home? That's Coach Pitts. Hello, Coach Pitts. Scott was just on his way over to talk to you. Hello, Dr. Reynolds. Well, I, uh, I suppose you know what happened to practice today. I'm sorry, Coach Pitts. I want to apologize for walking out today. It was wrong. Yeah, well, I suppose you know what a thing like that can do for morale. I know, I'm sorry. And it was pretty irresponsible, kid. He said he was sorry. <laughs> Will you please butt out, Reynolds? I mean, you may know a lot about fixing teeth, but you obviously don't know much about winning ball. Now, just a minute, Pitts. Dad. I think my son has apologized sufficiently, so if you'll excuse us, we have some important duties to do inside the house. Some light bulbs need changing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, they warned me about you, Reynolds. I should have known better than to try and reason with a loud mouth. I don't think reason is one of your strong points, Pitts. You're pushing me, Reynolds. Well, I'll have to if you're going to try to drive from the back seat. <laughs> Allow me. Who was that, Mike? That was Coach Pitts. Boy, what a crackpot that guy is. What do you mean? All he thinks about is winning. He's got some new kid by the name of Clyde Bingo. Clyde Bingo. Is he a good place? He's 20 feet tall. Is that my sandwich? No, it's Scott's. Here, take it in the living room. Zippo the clown is on. 
Don't walk with your mouth full. That big speech I gave to Scott about teamwork and responsibility, and this guy Pitts comes along and contradicts everything I said. All he thinks about is winning. Well, winning is important. You sound like Pitts. Is that my sandwich? No, this is Kitty. Kitty! At first, I was shocked that Scott walked out on practice, but now I agree with him. Scott walked out on practice? Yeah. We shouldn't have done that. Honey, he had every right to. Mingo is the only kid that ever gets to play. Well, if he's 20 feet tall, Mike. That's not the point. Uh, is that coconut and mustard? Mike, that was for buttons. Oh, I should have guessed that everything around here is for buttons. You answer that, please. Well, that's probably for buttons, too. Hello? Oh, hello, Jim. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 Jim. I know all about it. No, no, I, I wouldn't worry about it, Jim. I don't... Oh, really? He is? Thanks very much. Thanks for calling. That was Jimmy Turner's father. You know what he told me? What? This Mingo kid isn't even playing legally. He doesn't live in our district. Well, then he shouldn't play. Honey, I know he shouldn't play. Here's your sandwich. No, honey, I'm too upset. There's only one thing to do. What's that? I don't know, but I'll figure it out at the meeting. What meeting? The meeting I'm going to call of the parents. I'm going to confront Pitts with this whole issue. I'm going to tell him straight out. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Quit beating around the bush, Reynolds. All right, it's all right. I just don't think you're a very good coach. Why? Because I want my team to win. There you go again. Win. All the time, win. Whatever happened to the good old days when we used to fight for the fun of it? Coffee and cookies, anyone? Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Liz Pitts. Pitts, Liz. You know, you're right. The good old days. I remember we used to use a bushel basket for a hoop. Yeah, there you go. And I'll bet you cut a hole in the bottom of the basket, didn't you? Well, sure. Didn't you? No, my mother wouldn't let me. Every time we made a basket, we used to have to climb up a ladder and get the ball out. Well, at least you had a basketball. We had to use a dried cantaloupe. <laughs> Are you kidding? Our basketball had so many patches in it, it didn't even bounce. It ricocheted. <laughs> and we didn't have any uniforms either. Had to play in our street clothes. Thanks. Street clothes? We used to play in our underwear. Didn't you get cold? No, but we got arrested a lot. <laughs> well, that's all very nice, fellas, but times have changed. Kids today just want to win. All my kid wants to do is play. Well, I'm sorry about your kid, Mr. Turner, but when you got a talent like Claude Mingo, kids like Jimmy are just gonna have to have a little patience. Wait, wait a minute. That's another thing, Pitts. Claude uh, Mingo isn't playing legally. He doesn't live in our district. Oh, well, we don't worry about that. We can bend the rules a little bit and it's overlooked as long as you got a winning team. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If bending the rules means that every kid doesn't have a fair chance to play, I don't think I agree. You're trying to tell me something, Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, I think all of us here are agreed that this Claude Mingo should lead the team and play in his own district. But what am I going to do without Claude, fellas? Well, you figure that out. You're the coach. Not anymore, I'm not. Thanks for the coffee. I think we just lost a coach. Well, I'm sorry, fellas. I'm sorry. I guess I really blew it. What are we going to do now? Well, I would say that an emergency practice session is in order. Coach. <laughs> coach? Me? Oh, wait a minute, Jim. You don't want me to be the coach. Oh, wait a minute, fellas. I can't coach a team. I mean, John, I can't. <laughs> you think you can handle it? Oh, honey, this won't be the first time. I once coached a swimming team in a summer camp. Really? Yeah, we had a perfect record. No drownings. <laughs> hey, John, let's go. Come on, the kids will be here for practice any minute. Just a second. Come on, what's taking you so long? I can't get the needle in the ball. Oh, here, let me do it. Let me do it. Here we go. Let me do it. Dad, you're supposed to be using the needle. Needle? Yes, I know I need the needle. I'm just clearing the pump. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a long time since I inflated a basketball. Here, give me the needle. Why is your hand shaking? Scott, will you stop interrupting me while I'm fixing your basketball? I just got out of the shower. I'm a little chilly. That's why I'm shaking. Oh, I thought you were nervous about the game. What game? Ah, oh, come on. You know what I mean. Oh, you mean the tournament. Right. Not that, no, there's nothing to be nervous about that. Well, you knew at coaching. Knew at coaching? <laughs> Are you kidding? There. It's in. Didn't I ever tell you about the time I was a swimming coach at a summer camp? Dad. Why, we had one of the best records in the Dad. place. Dad. What? What? The year's getting out. <laughs> yes. Of course it's getting out. I'm letting it out. You've got to get rid of the stale air. Put in fresh air. Makes the ball bounce better. You should know that. Yep, I should. Now, don't be nervous. There's nothing to be worried about. Now, just that's the main thing to remember. Just calm down, Kitty. Uh, shot. Dad, what are you doing? I'm blowing up the basketball. You're supposed to use a pump. Pump? Oh, yeah, well, the, the pump is for sissies. you got to build up the old lung power. <laughs> okay, come on now. We don't have 
much time before the game, so let's get going. We never held practice in this driveway. Gets in shape for playing on the road. Come on now. <laughs> all right, the first thing we're going to do is take a few shots to loosen up. We never shoot. Yeah, all we ever did was feed Claude so he could chew. Well, that was Claude's problem. He was overfed. <laughs> well, from now on, any man that sees an opening can take a shot. But, Dad, Claude's the only one that's tall enough to see an opening. Johnny, you do not have to be tall to be a good basketball player. Look at Dribbles Wong Lee. Who? Dribbles Wong Lee, the greatest basketball player in China. How come we never heard of him? Because they don't play basketball in China. Could never get on a team. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Shoot, line up, shoot. Take your shot. Go ahead. Okay, now, let's move it around. Here we go. Hey, hey, come on now. Move it around now. Hey, here we go. Hey. <laughs> What's the monkey doing on the court? He's our mascot, Dad. He'll bring us luck. <laughs> yeah, the kind of luck Moby Dick brought to Captain Ahab. Not be the monkey on the court. Come on, over here. You'll excuse me, won't you? You can be the substitute. I'll let you know if we run out of human beings. <laughs> here we go. Okay, get in your defense. Scott, you're up here. You're over here. Murray, back here. That a boy. Keep your arms up, Arnold, right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to try and make a layup. Now, I'm going to drive right through you guys. On your toes, you understand? On your toes. Now, guard me, right? Here we go. Ha, ha, ha. Notice the fluid motion of your coach as he drives through and makes a great... <laughs> You just witnessed an American tragedy. A rising young coach struck down in his prime by the old salami sandwich play. <laughs> Don't wander away. The wonders of TV land shall return. TV land, take me away. I didn't use any antiperspirant yesterday, and I may not use any today, even though I do perspire a lot. The reason is right here. Mitchum Roll-On Antiperspirant. Use as directed, Mitchum is so effective, I can even skip a day and still feel secure about myself. Mitchum has two active ingredients, not just one. You may never actually skip a day, but it's nice to know Mitchum is so effective that you could. Mitchum's so effective, you could even skip a day. Bonjour. Action. James. Bonjour. Action. James. Bonjour. Fashion. Bonjour. 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 James. Next up, it's the Ed Sullivan Show. Followed by TV Land Goes West. And then Wonders of TV Land. Open 24 hours. They're playing the national anthem. Mommy, <laughs> will you ever cheerleader? Only on New Year's Eve, honey. <laughs> Come on, the guys are probably already there. Honey, I'll be through in a minute. You better hurry up because you know how nervous Dad gets about the game. What about you boys? Aren't you a little nervous? Heck no. We had more fun at practice than we ever did. Come on, let's go. Let's go. What's taking so long? Scout's right. You are nervous. Nervous? What makes you think I'm nervous? Well, for one thing, you only have on one sock. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. I have two socks. If the fact that they're both on the same foot means I'm nervous, then I'm nervous. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go, kids. Come on, kids. Come on. Here we go. Here, give me the ball. Here, give me the ball. Here. That's it. Come on. Come on. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Over here. Gather around. Gather around. Now, look. I want you to go out there, and I want you to play the best game you can. And above all, I want you to play fair and get this monkey out of the huddle. Can he stay? Yeah, he's good for our morale. Yeah, well, he's not good for mine. Hey, Coach, come on. Get back to the big speed. All right, now, look. Look, just one more thing before... Before what? Pits. Yay! Mike, what's this? 
doing? Is he coaching the other team? Well, Reynolds, you ready to take a beating, huh? Yeah, well, I wouldn't count on it, Fitz. Yeah, well, put your money where your mouth is. Make it easy on yourself, though. All right, how about a buck? <laughs> well, that's fine with me. You sure you can afford it? Just don't come prying to me afterwards. <laughs> Sure suckered him into that one. I should have made it a buck fifty. Mm -hmm. Don't look now, Mike, but uh, look who's playing for them. Claude Mingo. He's 20 feet tall. Yum, yum. That was your dollar. Yeah, the nickel a foot. Dad, plus you're playing out of his district. Gee, as long as he's illegal, why can't he be illegal on our team? Yeah. Calm down, calm down now. Come on, we don't need Claude Mingo. All we need is teamwork. Now, go out there and play the best game you can and remember what I told you about having a good time. Now, come on, good chance out here. Yeah. Go out there, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Beginner's luck. <laughs> Up. Now, calm down, calm down. Look at Pitts. Look at Pitts. Look, look how nervous he is. Look at him. He's beginning to come on glued. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> calm down. Don't say. No, he is. Shh, shh. <laughs> yeah! Go, 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 go. Okay, okay. You guys, That's you guys look terrific. Terrific. All right, I don't want you to tense up. We got one quarter left, and you're only down by six points. You can do it. You can win this basketball game. Now, in this quarter, I want you to go out there, and I want oh, you to move. I don't feel so good. What is it, Murray? I think it's from practice. There must have been something in that four sandwich. <laughs> four sandwiches? You were supposed to be practicing basketball, not gluttony. <laughs> I'm sorry, Coach. I don't think I can play anymore. Oh, okay, okay, Murray. Why don't you go in the locker room and rest up? Go ahead. What are you going to do now, Dad? We don't have a substitute. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Murray's stomach wasn't in my game plan. Can we only use four guys? Scott, this is basketball, not poker. Well, I guess we have no other choice. We're going to have to forfeit. Forfeit? Oh, sorry, that's the way it is. Those are the rules. Boy, we could have beat them, too. Isn't there something we can do? No, Scott, you have to have five players. That's the way it is. Came so close. Hey, maybe we can use buttons as a substitute. Buttons? Yeah. Yeah. Buttons? I'd rather forfeit. <laughs> well, well, well. What's the matter, Reynolds? One of your kids took sick, huh? Must have been having too much fun, eh? <laughs> your sense of compassion is only exceeded by your warped sense of humor. Yeah, well, it's too bad you haven't got a substitute. You ready to call it quits? Why don't you give me ten minutes? I can send somebody out for a stomach pump. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Reynolds. You're just gonna have to forfeit. Forfeit? Wait a minute. Why forfeit? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, how thoughtless of me. I didn't introduce you to our new left guard. Monkeys. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll bet you would use him, too, if he was legal. <laughs> legal? Seems to me it's every bit as legal as Claude Mingo. Oh, well, so I'm bending the rules a little. Yeah. Are you going to tell me that the rules only bend in one direction, Pitts? Oh, come on, Reynolds. The ref isn't going to let you use a monkey, and you know it. Well, he might if you talk to him about it. Uh, me? Sure, sure. Maybe if you tell him 
Uh, you're willing to overlook the fact that I have a chimp for a substitute. I might overlook the fact that your center is ineligible. Oh, no, Reynolds, you're not going to raise this thing. You know, Pitts, we have an old saying in the dental business. A tooth for a tooth. <laughs> Yeah, the boys really said that? Yeah. Honey, they didn't mind losing because for the first time, everybody got a chance to play, including Button. Yeah, he wasn't so bad for his first game, was he? Think we should let him keep the game ball? I wouldn't advise it. He'd probably peel it and eat it. <laughs> Don't wander away. The wonders of TV Land shall return. Don't go away. There's another retro commercial coming up. Smells of fresh roasted coffee. Good ground coffee. Maxwell House coffee, the coffee that always tastes as good as it smells. The coffee perking in this pot is America's best loved coffee, Maxwell House. More Americans buy Maxwell House, brew it more often than any other coffee. The reason is simple. Maxwell House always smells good, always tastes good, always tastes as good as it smells. Buy Maxwell House with a flavor-type top. Maxwell House, always good to the last drop. Another fine product of General Foods. Look sharp. Feel sharp. Be sharp and listen, mister. How are you fixed for blades? Do you have plenty? How are you fixed for blades? You'd better look. Please make sure you have enough. Cause a worn out blade makes shaving mighty tough. How are you fixed for blades? You'd better check. Gillette blue blades we need. Oh, no blades. Razor blades you can't buy in your bathroom. No, not one. And it's far from funny when you find you're out. So too. So be sharp. Invest a small amount of money. <laughs> Benzo Let's Blue Blades, the kind we shout about. How are you fixed for blades? Go get a carton. To let Blue Blades we need. Have you been turned down for a mortgage or home equity loan because of bad or no credit? When your bank says no, TV Land says... Yes! Yes, no matter what you need, TV Land has the words you've been waiting to hear. Yes? Yes, yes! The most agreeable TV you can find. Yes? Of course! Oh, yes, of course. Yes! Because when your life says no, TV Land says... Yes, yes! Is TV Land 34% better than real life? You bet you! 
Had a long, hard day? My girdle is killing me. Want to get away from your troubles? The farther away, the better. Well, you can. With TV Land's evening lineup, The Addams Family, Green Acres, Sonny and Cher, Hogan's Heroes, The Phil Silver Show, and Mannix every weeknight. Good thinking. Escape from your day with an evening in TV Land. Doesn't it take your mind off of your troubles? Take me to TV Land. But a really big hand for the Ed Sullivan Shoe, next on TV Land. proud of yourself this morning. Why not? Didn't we play a great game? Didn't we have a lot of fun? Aren't I in great shape for basketball? Sure, let's go shoot a few. Good for me. How about some breakfast? Wheat soggy, the breakfast of near champions. Uh, and stiff athletes. <laughs> Honey, I think I better eat standing up. This is the closest I'm going to get to sitting down for a few days. 